Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Kira. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year, we modernized and began replacing outdated and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 15 years, and I know all the technological processes in the company very well. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one myself, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, processes were changing and automated. At the meeting on development of production the head of laboratory suggested buying a new reactor for preparation of solutions. In connection with expansion of production, it was necessary to buy a reactor with capacity not less than 100 liters. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our enterprise, I had a little experience in the selection and contacts of some reliable manufacturers of equipment. I started contacting the manufacturers by telephone to find out whether they could manufacture the reactor for preparing solutions for small pilot batches with a volume of 100 liters or more. I specified a compact machine with automatic control as the main criteria. I was not prepared to wait that long. Since I could not find a manufacturer for the reactor, I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another version of the machine. I searched the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with equipment supplied by a Chinese intermediary when a powder filling line was brought to us but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All companies I phoned to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company in Krasnoyars told me to wait five minutes, but she did not listen to me. I didn't like such treatment of a client. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me in a polite manner, asked me questions about the required productivity of the equipment and the desired production time. Three days later I received eight variants of reactors from them and an offer to choose by myself. I understood that they have no professional approach and they will not help me in my search for the equipment. The last, third option of the intermediary from Moscow turned out to be successful for me. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired capacity of the machine, the overall dimensions, told me about the terms of delivery. At the stage of consulting, he suggested eight variants of reactors for preparing the solution. The manager sent a video showing the appearance of the suggested reactors. They differed in design and capacity. I studied these reactors and chose a conical reactor with a capacity of 100 liters, which is a hopper with a hatch for loading components, and a hatch in the lower part for discharging the solution. Within a week we concluded a contract for delivery of equipment. The manager informed us about the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks before delivery. One month after signing the contract, we received the reactor. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's guarantee, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We assembled the machine, and in a week we trained workers, who will be assigned to the machine. We were satisfied with the solution preparation and storage reactor. The competent advice saved me time, and helped me avoid the mistakes I might have made if I had made the choice myself. My colleague from a pharmaceutical plant in Irkutsk asked me to show him the reactor that I had purchased. I showed him a video of the proposed apparatuses. Perhaps he will also find a suitable option for himself, and I know who I will recommend as an equipment supplier.